Hey, welcome back YouTube. We continue MSQ today and we are actually jumping straight into Balesar's wall. So as soon as the Q pops, we'll see you in the dungeon. Not sure how long this uh, Q is going to take. It's already been quite a bit. So we're just going to jump in with um, a trust NPCs. So here we go. Oh, and now it makes sense to me. Wow, there's like trees and stuff. It's like in a forest. Got some scions with us. Hell yeah. Still don't have Sonic Thrust. I'm going to pull everything. So yeah, this been real people, we would have been done with this by now. Because people know how to use their abilities to its fullest potential instead of just sitting here doing a move every other second. Oh, we need the... Let's 
that NPC brought it to the middle of the room? Wow. fight. I always contemplate, I'm like, should I skip in the video? Should I skip to the end of the dungeon? But like, I don't know. If, I, if I'm if i watching somebody play and I'm watching for this story, the dungeon is part of the story, in my opinion. So I want to see how it plays out. We're on the battlefield right now. I will say one thing I did have to do before coming in here was bending poetics on a helmet because I didn't have enough eye level to, to get into this dungeon. Didn't mean to do that. Forgot about the coffer.
This is gonna take forever. <laughs> My god. Seems like it, it takes so much less time to just do the single target damage. That's it, no more sets. Yeah, because we got this very belt now. This dungeon's gonna take twice as long as it has to. As it usually would because it's a freaking trust. Might as well use it now. Just trying to put my fucking weapon away. we'll be able to get rid of those, right? Surprise, surprise. No, stop auto-attacking, you dumb little shit. It's almost over. Almost.
I'm just gonna pull everything. We've got a black mage, right? We have a Thaumaturge. Dang, these guys aren't even like job level up yet. We've got a freaking Marauder, a Thaumaturge, and a Conjurer. Probably gonna die. I just want to. I just want to be done with this. Where's the healer? Healer. the Thama Church can toss out some fire twos, some lightning twos. Get this over with. I, I'm not surprised. If anybody else is surprised, I'm not surprised. I This is my replay through of MSQ. I would have been surprised though, for sure. I would have been like, this motherfucking piece of shit, bitch ass griffin, motherfucker. Was this traitorous bitch the whole time? Let's kick his ass. Slope. I've been waiting to say it this entire playthrough. Slope. <laughs> Slope. Yeah. 
Get wrecked, son. Sorry, we're adjusting. In my chair. It said smash. Slopey. Did we get anything to help with our gear? We got a fending, uh, fending bracelet. Took 20, almost 25 minutes. I'm so sorry. You've beaten me, I. Can we kill you, I? Can we be done of you? But you cannot stop what I've begun. Behold, a glimpse of things to come. We did it! We sold the bastards! Victory is ours! And who knows, lads? Mayhap the Eorzeans will finally see sense when the enemy turns up on their bloody doorstep. Why does that look like Laurentius? This is for Alamigo. For Eorzea. Because it is Laurentius. I couldn't have fucking. Ch oh my god. They die that others may live. These motherfuckers. Vanguards! Attack! A weak ass cry. Seven hells. Do you hear that? Vanguard's attack. Weak ass bitch. War machines. How did they get here so quickly? Stand your ground for the resistance. Getting uh, flashbacks of Final Fantasy VIII. If you know, you know. There's nowhere to run. We're cut off. Rolker grant us the strength to crush our there you are. As you can see, our infiltrators did not elude me for long. 
Lady Ugiri is sending for an airship even as we speak. What do we do? This is a massacre! <laughs> How wonderful to see you, Commander. Ill bird. I should have known. This has to end. It has to end now. Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat, and we will help your soldiers to safety. Retreat? With the moment of my triumph so close at hand, you truly are a sheltered child, Leverier. Nidhogg's eyes! No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness, shouting my throat raw with rallying cries, only to be greeted with dull eyes and blank faces. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. Take back our homeland! Free Alamigo! Ha! They'll happily mouth the words, but they won't spill the blood. You say no mortal should wield these eyes? Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. What exactly do you mean to do? Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw, so true. A god has no need of fate when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power. Oh, yes, I know their limitations. Which is why I will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the Calamity itself. What? Here? Now? Like hell, you will? That's my girl.
light is it his death completed the ritual the primal is taking shape Amit well can't we stop it there must be something we can do there is one thing what hey where do you think you're going Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. I will now attempt to do the same. B but that's impossible. We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days. Ah, uh, Alfino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. Tutamati, of course! The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Pavalimo! I know how that spell works. It is time to leave. Quite right. Quickly now, off you go. The further away, the better. No! If you're staying, then so am I! No, Ida! There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here, not like this! Take her! Please, you have to take her! This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you. Go! I'm gonna stay at his side. You son of a bitch. Bid thee farewell again, my dear Ida. Now, let us see how good a student I truly was. Did it. Why didn't they let me stay? Apolimo is my friend. I've been there with him. You could see it in his eyes, Ida. He knew what he was doing. It had to be done. Master Louis Soir wore that same look right before the end. 
Do you think I don't know that? I know, all right. I know. There's nothing more you could have done. Billboard caught us all off guard, and the mask was powerless to stop him. If you must blame someone, then blame me. Just promise that you will never forget what Papalimo strove to protect, or the lessons he tried to teach you. Don't speak to me. Leave Ida with me. Go on. Get back to the Rising Stones. The others need to know what happened here. Once again, I find myself at a loss for words, but Thancred is right. We must return to the Rising Stones and apprise our companions of all of this. Pray make your way there at once. I will send word to Ishtola and the others our imminent return. It seem you bring ill tidings, brother. Hi. Behind the griffin's mask, we found the glimmering face of an old adversary, Ilbert. I know not how, but he had in his possession the eyes of Nidhogg, whose dread power he used to initiate a summoning ritual, even as we looked on. At the twelfth. I don't understand. To attempt such a magic requires every ounce of one's aether. Not one, not even grandfather, could cast it and hope to survive. Indeed, it was ever a last resort, as I am certain Papalimo was aware. Thus did the pupil follow in the footsteps of his master, even unto the grave. I have as yet been un unable to explain how Ebert came to possess Nidhogg's eyes. The depths of the Sea of Clouds, a perpetual storm of water and wind aspected Aether rages. No mortal could endure such conditions. Then mayhap it was the work of an Asian. But now is not the time for idle speculation. Kryle, I have need of your assistance. I, yes, yes, of course. We must inspect the cocoon of light and ascertain the state of the primal trapped within. Between our respective talents, I dare say we shall glean some measure of insight. Understood. I can't promise I'll be able to sense much through the barrier, but I shall certainly do my best. Shall I? Let us be about it, then. What? Without so much as a buy or leave? Pray forgive Archon Ishtola her brevity. She seeketh employment, lest her grief deprive her of her will to act. Desire to comfort Ida doubtless compoundeth her unseemly haste. I, too, must contend with this grievous loss in my own way. Thy leave, Lady Ilse. I shall honor our fallen colleague through gainful study. There exist writings which may yet further our understanding of this cocoon of light. Yep, I was too quick to judge. Surrendering to sadness and regret would be a poor tribute to Papalimo's sacrifice. Quite. We must begin preparations to face Obert's accursed creation without delay. What time we have purchased at too dear a price for us to squander it. Ah, I mask. I wish I had more to tell you, but the situation in the East Shroud remains largely unchanged. Meaning we still have no idea how long it will be before... Communication from the Alliance. One moment. Yes, of course. Our representatives will be present, thanks. Word from Gridania. Council will shortly be reconvened. The Alliance leaders have already begun to assemble. They wish to discuss the Primal, of course. As of Ishtola's last report, the cocoon yet hung above the wall and changed. Yes, but the Elder Seed Seer doubtless shares our concerns about how long it will remain so. 
I am told that Sid Garland has been called in to add his expertise to proceedings. A wise decision. The more minds we have working on this, the better. Well then, I suggest we leave the Rising Stones in Tataru's capable hands and make haste for the Lotus Stand. Ah, <laughs> my boy. A word, if you would, good sir. This place, it is within the realm of Eorzea. You're an odd-looking fellow, aren't you? Still, takes all sorts, I suppose. Uh, this here's Vesper Bay. Thanalan's door to the ocean, as some folk like to call it. Am I to understand from your answer that I have indeed arrived in Eorzea? Thank you. Somebody who also is like, can you fucking say yes or no? Jesus. Hey? Yes. You're in Eorzea? Plain response at last. Thank and the you. one I wanted at that. For real. My journey was not without its hardships, and I would sooner travel by land than put to sea again. <laughs> you do not believe that so small a bark could bear me across the ocean? Such timid little sailors. I had but to set my course and set my jaw till I made port. <laughs> Though, it would perhaps have been wise to lay down my oars a moment to sup on more than the spray of brine water. By the trembling of my limbs, I sense a brief repast may be in order. Nay, I will not hearken to the feeble grumblings of an empty belly. Duty comes before all. <laughs> oh, that was fucking hilarious. Thou art far indeed from home, friend. That might be the funniest thing I've seen in this game to date. Oh, man. Oof. Where are we? Where? What are we doing? Okay. We'll see you at the Lotus Den. Dear friends, pray accept my heartfelt thanks for your efforts in defense of Gridania's borders. I would fain dwell longer on my gratitude for the support of the Alliance, but the situation at Belsar's Wall demands that we forego such pleasantries. According to our most recent intelligence, the cocoon of light that formed in the air above the wall remains undimmed and unbroken. After measuring the cocoon's etheric concentrations, Archon Yishtola has confirmed the presence of a primal entity. <laughs> so we must assume that Ilbert's thrice damned god is indeed trapped within. And what news of the Imperials? They're not like to ignore such a spectacle. 
Yes, sir. A Galian airship was observed making an approach, but the vessel was destroyed when it drew near. The Empire appears to have made no subsequent attempts to reach the object. The soldiers who witnessed the incident spoke of a lance of light issuing from within the cocoon. Of an entire warship being reduced to smoking ruin in the space of a moment. Veterans of Cartano, meanwhile, likened the destruction to that wrought by the fiery wrath of Bahamut. We could face another calamity. So the Primal is awake, then? Contained, yes, but for how long? We must destroy it now, lest it break free. Agreed. There is, however, the small matter of how to get close enough to a being that swats warships from the sky as you would a bothersome gnat. Nobody's got nothing. Is this truly so complex a puzzle? Or have you no stomach for the obvious solution? For him what to step in foot the here. What are you doing here? A pleasure to see you too, Garland. Now, if you'd be so kind as to explain to these good people why you should be begging me for my assistance, that would be most appreciated. Who is this man? Oh, how terrifically rude of me. Nero Tolskeva, former Tribunus of the 14th Legion of the Garlian Empire. These days, however, one might say that I'm something of a free agent. What do you want, Nero? I was getting to that. Although you already know what I'm about to propose, old friend. As you have rather belatedly realized, within that frail binding lurks an entity alike in strength to the great Bahamut, and the only force in existence which might conceivably contend with such a foe is the very creation which captured the Elder Primal in the first place. I speak, of course, of Omega. Omega? That hulk has been gathering dust beneath the plains of Cartanau since the Alagans breathed the last. And none alive knows how to wake it. I'm sorry. Do you understand who it is with whom you have the privilege of speaking? I'm Nero Tolskeva, Master Engineer. The mechanical genius who restored the Ultima weapon to full operational capacity. And as luck would have it, I am graciously offering you the use of my considerable expertise. And what, you just expect us to accept? You're a fool if you think your deeds at the Crystal Tower are enough to win my trust, Nero. Trust? You wound me, Garland. All those years, studying side by side at the Academy, sharing both trial and triumph, we were countrymen once, you and I. But sentiment aside, have you a better solution? Or do you mean to send in your vaunted hero there, as you always do, and pray the world is not engulfed in flame? Let us approach the problem in a rational manner. Does not the fact that Omega slumbers in stasis point to the existence of some overriding technology? A means of control? I would ask a question, if I may. Nero, was it not? In the event that we succeeded in using Omega to shackle the Primal in the manner you propose, what then would become of it? Do we not risk repeating the mistakes of the Alagans? 
Omega is but a tool. How we choose to employ that tool is entirely up to us. Of course, if you would rather leave it buried beneath Cartano while you continue your petty squabbles above, then I suppose that is also your choice. Spare us, Nero. The Seed Seer's concern is a valid one. He who controls Omega wields the power of the gods, the very power which led the Alagans to destroy themselves. And does it not fall to we engineers to prevent such misuse? What was your company's proud slogan? Freedom through technology? <laughs> A creed you follow, is it? <sighs> what say you? Do we take this villain at his word? No, but I'll keep an eye on him. As will I. I don't like it, but then it doesn't look like we have much choice. Would the Council be willing to entrust this matter to a pair of former Imperials? Yes. The task of restoring the Alagan relic will be yours. But the responsibility for its reawakening must remain with the Council. Do we condone this course of action? Good thing we do. Let the record show that we invest this contingent with the authority to enter Cartanau and take command of Omega. Sid, I appoint you leader of the expedition. Science, I would ask that you assign some few of your number to escort Master Garland and supervise the other one. We should be happy to oblige. The politics of Cartano being what they are, I dare say our neutrality will prove useful in avoiding any unnecessary entanglements. If I am not mistaken, Doma occupies a similarly neutral position. Might we not persuade you to join the expedition, Lady Yugiri? If you suspected any foul play from Nero, you would be welcome to kill him. I love Alice say so much. My blade is yours. Damn, that look could kill. That look could kill, bro. Not a Shit. Hesitation, eh? You'll forgive me if I do not shake your hand. Cheer up, old fool. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. And uh, with the with the tall dude, I don't I don't remember his name yet. But when he came on board from the docks, that was so great. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are liking the videos and you want to see more. And we'll see you in the next one.